G'day guys, I am here. I'm just stepping off to one side so that you can see one of the easiest ways ever of making a green screen for yourself. And it only cost me about oh, maybe $8. Um, I just had to buy six sheets of cardboard. Green cardboard, that's all you need. Here I am. And I've stuck them up to the wall as you can see. And if I bring the camera in close enough so that it's not being able to see any of the um, any of the outer edges then all I need to do um, to try and avoid those last little bits of shadow see just there and up here somewhere <laughs> um, basically is just turn on a light turn on a light is all I have to do and then I've got the simplest green screen you could ever hope to imagine it really is not that difficult to do green screen folks you don't need anything expensive all I got is six sheets of cardboard from the local news agents. Nice blue, uh, sorry, blue. Where did I get that from? A nice fluorescent green, um, so it's easy to um, to mask out or to um, use the chroma key tool. And I'll show you how to do that now. And then Bob's your uncle. You can put it in any background that you like. It's not that hard. If you haven't tried it, now might be a good time to go. So I'm in a free video editor called VSDC and you'll find the link to that down in the description. And I've already dragged in the uh, footage that I took of the um, green screen that you've just been watching. And I've got the um, cursor, sorry, the, um, the marker here at the point where I want to change the green screen uh, from just plain green cardboard into something different. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight the, um, the uh, actual film that I've got here. And that of course is, um, so that I know what I'm going to be chopping. Now I'm going to be able to split that into two parts. So before um, this section here will just be, you can see the green cardboard, this section behind me, you'll be able to um, see whatever I put in as the green screen background uh, once I've chroma keyed out to the green. So the starters to split it, I go up to this tool here, um, it says split into two parts. And I click on that, you'll see it actually jumps down so that I've got um, two different layers. Now this is the layer that we want to be able to chroma key out, so I'm, I'm clicking that first. Then I'm going to go to uh, Video Effects and go to Transparency. Now you can see that's all faded out there, so I mustn't have clicked on that properly. So I'm going to go back to, to down here, click on that. Um, whoops, click on that. That's better. Now you can see I've got that one highlighted and that one not. Up here, down to transparency, go down to background remover, and I want to start it from the beginning. So I'm okaying that. So as you can see, that's taken the green out straight away. Um, if you're looking back over here, that's where the original footage is, but um, the effect um, puts it on a separate tab, which is here. Now I was very fortunate that this has actually um, done it for me because I had already tried pre uh, previously to make sure I uh, had all the right settings and what have you. But what will actually happen is when you um, get this, you'll probably find if you click on here on the background remover, right click, hit on properties. This is the properties window for that particular image. And let me just show you, I'm going to pin it first so it doesn't re remove. So pin that. So that'll automatically stay there now. Now the chroma key color. Um, you can see this is the color that we've chroma keyed out, but if I were to select uh, this um, dropper here, click on that, and I, I could then select anywhere else. The reason why it's um, gone already before I click on that is I've adjusted these minimum brightness thresholds. Let me just um, change them so you can see what it did look like beforehand. If I push that back up to back down to there you can see there's the green so basically I just came in here and I played around with these numbers the brightness the chroma key thresholds you can click on that one see if that makes any difference doesn't appear to click on this one see if it makes any difference doesn't appear to so I'm going back to my brightness threshold and hit it in the right direction and slowly away it's gone and you can see if I now scroll through this, 
you always scroll through to check that you haven't lost anything. So now I can go back over to my scene, to this one here. I'm going to put the cursor at the beginning. And the reason why I want to do that, whoops, is I want to scroll that one over to here. I want to be able to actually drag in um, another, or sorry, add in another um, background that I'm going to put there. So if I wanted it to just be a still image, like a picture, I would click on this here, add image, go to add image there, and I'm going to go to my downloads, to my attribute free backgrounds, and I can select a background. Let's choose this one. So I'm going to put that from the cursor point. Okay, now that is um, in front of the actual image of me talking. So that's easily fixed. You just click on this one and we want to move it up. Um, sorry, that way, that's what we're doing. We're going to go up there. And as you can see, I've now got the background. Now the photo didn't quite fit properly, did it? So we need to change the attributes of it there. We need to actually drag those corners out. So being sure that I've clicked on that, I can actually drag that over here, make that corner fit, and then this time I'm going to drag this upper corner and I'm going to stretch it out. So now if I let go, and we start doing, to watch it in this particular um, VSDC video editor, you click on the preview button here. And as you can see, so let me just get out of that and that was a still image um, so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to put in a moving image just so you can see that you can actually do it so this time I'm going to insert a video and I've got some videos here there's one of the beach so if I pop that in I want to start it from the cursor point again okay that now you can see once again the beach is below where I want it to be so click on the beach and if I then um, move it up, so, whoops, that way, wrong arrow, that way. Now I'm at the beach, and as you can see, the beach one fits, which is really nice. So we preview that again. Looks like I'm at the beach, although you have to get the lighting on your face right, and I can adjust the lighting another way. Well, I told you green screen wasn't that hard. And you can put still images or moving images behind you, whatever you want. It just makes it that much more interesting if you're a person who likes to talk to camera on YouTube. As I am. <laughs> you know. Okay, guys. Um, I hope that that little bit of advice is helpful for you. And um, don't forget that that free piece of software is right there to use. Uh, the link's down in the description if you want to try that and you don't have uh, any editing software as yet. Great little piece of kit and I'll be making further videos using that and showing you more about that particular piece of software. Thanks. Goodbye for now. See ya.